play a long-term game why 18 hour days don't work great so here in the corner in the top right corner you can see the screenshot of my time spent essentially working from the 6th of november until 29th of december you can see that the yeah, in the beginning, I was just warming up. I was trying stuff out. Those were the first day I, I essentially even broke the 14-hour like line. I'm like I've never worked even 14 hours a day before that. And I was like, okay, great. Let's just try it. How how far I can take this? And I was never. I was just experimenting. I was like, okay, great. I let's try it out. Let's try this out. How far it goes? The first week, I guess I worked like 18 hours, 80 hours, and that was even the, the most hours that I ever worked within a week, and. In the beginning, I was just, re just really experimenting in a similar way as Elon Musk. That okay, let's just Elon. Elon, Elon is very known, well known for pushing 120 hours, which is I, I mean I, I didn't get to that point yet. I did like 117. After that, I was just so freaking tired. But if you get to hmm. Like in terms of me ramping up the volume, it was more just like an exploration of actually what I'm even capable of. And what I again confirmed is that, okay, I can do this. It's pretty, like now looking back when I'm doing this for so many weeks after each other, I just feel, it's, it like feels like a new normal. On the other hand, one additional thing that I would like to add is that 18 hour work days don't really work that get good. It's more that if you just do 16 a day, that, that like caps the potential for you in terms of actually doing high quality work, then it caps out at 14. It definitely depends on what you're actually spending your time on. If you're just working, <laughs> there are different types of work. You can be doing creative work. And at a certain point of time, just uh, your creative output starts decreasing. For example, for me, like when I'm recording these videos and when I r record them for four hours straight, I'm slowly starting to like, you know, feel even tired and my throat is hurting as, as it did yesterday. So I just like knew that, okay, I'm gonna have a higher return on investment if I just go to sleep and wake up and just continue with the stuff that I was working on yesterday. So in terms of just really the max I ever worked was like 17 hours, 50 minutes, um, within a day. And that was enough. That was a lot. But at the same time, I'm always focusing on maintaining seven hours of sleep every single night. I'm I just like, I'm not going underneath that. Like seven hours is non-negotiable for me right now because Sacrificing one more hour for more output for my side, it would just decrease the, the returns that I'm already getting. In terms of getting eight hours of sleep, that might be able to increase it from, I mean, not right now I feel that on seven hours of sleep, I just feel the most alive. I just feel like everything is all right. I just feel that everything is working kind of fine. So I had, don't really have a, any reason to just try to optimize it any further. And uh, it's, it's, it's in terms of just, do you have many people I even thought that it would work a bit differently when I was younger. In terms of, we have many people who have, who are, who just say that they, they're working 20 hours a day, they're working 18 hours a day, whatever. It's okay. If you work really 20 hours every single day, or if you're working 18 hours every single day, that means that you can sleep like five and a half hours max or five hours. And based on my experience with sleeping that, that like five hours a day, your performance will decrease so significantly that it doesn't really make any sense for you to work those extra, let's say two or three hours every single day, just for the sake of actually trying to work more when in reality you're not working more, you're just fooling yourself that you're trying to work more and you're perhaps impatient with the stuff you're working on. Because regardless of how much, how hard you try, it, it takes around 10,000 hours of actual work effort that you put in, in terms of building the, the groundwork. Like now I'm just speaking about groundwork. Now I'm speaking about the stage where I'm in right now. I'm just building the solid foundation based on like which other stages might be then engage and initiate it. Um, if you're, if you have capital, if you have team, if you have all the other people, you have more leverage, which means that you don't, you don't really need to like, for example, bust your ass up that much because you have other people who are taking care of those things for you. But in terms of just re really doing 
consecutive 18 hour days it's just like max for example like this is a great setup for me i wouldn't be able to do this anywhere else in hawaii i would be able to work like six hours a day and that would be my tops here it's a different game um it's a different game here is fully optimized and i know i acknowledge that okay this is possibly the one of the no, not trade one of the last but like one of the not few moments in my life where i'm able to be fully focused and that's one of the reasons why i even want to continue this this run for the next year and the best thing about actually just pushing Koho so hard every single day, you have this great feeling. You have this great feeling when you're going to sleep and you just know that you have zero in your tank. You just know that the more, if you try to do more, it would just sacrifice the gains you're going to get. Yes, uh, you're going to get tomorrow because you would be just dead tomorrow. That's so to say, like you wouldn't have a lot of energy or motivation to work on the stuff that you want to be working on. So yeah, it's a long-term game, even for me. I, I acknowledge that, for example, I might be doing this for the next two years, and the next two years, I'm on, I'm on, I might not see a direct return on my investment, but I just know that if I stick this with this for a long term, that those will be the moments where I actually get the, the highest disproportionate returns on, on the investment that I make. And even now, like just looking back at this these two months, like, this has contributed so freaking much to my overall momentum that I created that being 8.2% actually just closer to my initial goal. Like that's so significant. That's like so great. If I would be, if I were to just split this up um, to <clears throat> to normal work weeks, this would take me something like 20 work weeks, which is a uh, I, I did almost triple the progress. Like th this, this would be half a year for a normal person. Essentially, and I did it within two months, which kind of makes me learn faster because I'm able to make more mistakes faster and I'm able to iterate much faster, which is w very important for me right now since I don't really have that that much time essentially left. And even in terms of, okay, like just re-answering the question, okay, what do you want to be spending your time on? Like, is, do you really want to spend your time now watching Netflix and watching some dumb videos on YouTube? Or is it rather better for you to actually just, okay, be full out into the stuff that you're working on? Because the, the more you do, the more you learn. The, the, the more you do, the more you work on yourself. The, the, the stronger character you create, the more skills you gain, the, like, everything will go up with the amount of time and energy you invest. Which, which implies that... I guess like there the marginal returns and also d diminishing returns if, and, and those diminishing returns only enter the equation once you start sacrificing sleep. For me right now, I'm, I'm, I'm fully out. I have I have good diet. I have like everything else set pretty good. And the only factor for me right now is just really trying to stay consistent with this schedule that I have because I know that if I just do this, like this is maybe my perspective that I have. Maybe when I record something similar at the end of 2024, I will have a different kind of mentality about this this entire this entire thing but if i just create a long enough period of time or long enough time frame and i just look back at the year 2020 or 24 and then like what's the one thing that i know if i just accomplish that here that that year will, will be a significant step forward and with a great foundation and the only one thing that i can think of is, is just hitting 16 hour days for the whole year which is a great if you if you ask should gpt or someone else like pulling 16 hour days for one year straight if that's great or if that's healthy it'll most likely tell you that it's it's you won't be able to do that or it'll sacrifice your health or something like that. Since I have kind of systems that I have that work out five to six times a week, but I have it here. I don't need to travel anywhere. So my travel costs are zero. My overheads are zero, so to say. That's the reason why I'm kind of able to operate at a much higher level. And 820 hours, um, it, this was kind of, I just wanted to prove myself and even test my limits, but this has really unlocked a whole new level for me in terms of how much I'm able to operate, how much I'm able to work. And I perhaps know based on the amount of energy and how I feel right now after two months of doing this, I just don't feel burned out at all. I feel great. I feel like it's really, I wouldn't tell less. I, I, I thought that after working 110 hours a week, the first week I would be just like that, sleeping here for three days. But uh, in my bed, but it's like, okay, I feel so great. I have so much energy. I'm, I'm so able to just, just push forward and, and do more work because I kind of fixated the game it's a different kind of mentality that you need to perhaps just 
there, patience is very important in the equation of actually doing something great because you, regardless of how hard you try, you, you will still need to be patient for a few months. Even if you do work weeks like this or work months like this, you still need to be patient because the results won't show up immediately. It's all take at least like a six months to really, really prove the concept. And like, for example, for me, I just like really know when I hit 16 hour day, I hit a 16 hour day, uh, look back, and I spend the day productively. I just know that freaking I have zero man tank, and I, I utilized all the energy that I had just to make as much progress as I possibly could, and it's great. I just treat it as a win for me, regardless of what what are my external outcomes, whether I succeeded or whether I didn't succeed. I just know that I freaking rock because I actually did what I was saying that I was do. I, I was saying say, I would, I did what I was telling I would do. And that's way more important for me than all the other external, like, substantiate, substanti, how do you even say that? Like, like external results that might speak to my results that I'm achieving. Yeah, so it's a long-term game. Like, I'm just really curious about where I'm going to be within, if I hit those 10,000 hours. I, I really feel that it will be a next game in terms of even my able my ability to, to just create stuff. And I also know that it's about momentum and I don't want to stop it right now. Even like travel or any 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 other stuff that you're working on, if you just like screw it up here, and screw up the momentum, it can bite you back in the ass. Because just if you just miss one day, if I would have missed one day, there would be at least sixty percent chance that I would have missed another day after that. And just the reason that I would I was able to just remain so, so consistent with the things that I was working on, that's the reason why I'm. I now feel so much in flow that actually, okay, let's go. Let's another day, another day, another day as well. I guess that's it. So if you want to download this app, this app, it's for free. It's named uh, Clockify, Clockify app. I guess you can find it on App Store. You can also find it on like a normal app that you can download to your computer. And... Yeah, that's it. So download it, start playing with that. You can create different kind of projects there in terms of how I even start creating these projects right now, uh, a few days ago, uh, just in terms of categorizing the time where you spend the time. I even did categoriz categorization before, but there's like multiple different options how you can actually, even like you have graphs that you can actually assess where you spend the time, how you spend it. And it's really great. It's more for team management and business management, but at the same time, you can just use it for anything you want. And I started using this when I was 18, and actually this app, like you can see these graphs, I had similar graphs when I was just making the transition from actually failing in school to being really good at it. This was the only thing that I did back then, and uh, that, that, that time I was working like eight hours a day of locked time or 10 hours a day, hitting like 60 hour weeks, and I thought that I was, I was, I was doing great at, that time, like, okay, 60, 60 hours a week. Okay, I just thought that, okay, I was super cool. But at the same time, okay, if, if now, I'm, now I'm hitting like 110, 117 hour work weeks. And I just like really acknowledge that there's just so much more in my tank than I ever thought that there would be. Pretty good realization that you'll have once you overcome your limits, once, once you see that those limits were nothing more than your thoughts. And that's it. So I'm gonna catch you in the next one.